If you're looking to relocate to the Phoenix area, possibly the East Valley, maybe even the Gilbert area, if that's you, stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna break down some of the top Gilbert communities, all the different things you can expect to see here. If you're really not sure, what does it look like? What are the schools like? What, is it what are the houses like? Are they old, are they new? Are they big, are they small? Are they safe for families? How far are the commutes, that sort of thing. We're gonna break down the top eight communities in Gilbert and then also, showing a lot of different up close and personal shots and drive-bys of each of these communities in this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that now. Leave a like and a comment with anything specifically that you want to know more on this video about Gilbert, about other communities in the area. Is it Chandler? Is it Phoenix? Is it anything around the commute times, anything like that, just leave a comment. You can also reach out to me, phone, email, text, all the stuff. That information is listed below and it's also in the description of this video. And with that, let's get on to this video. Today we're talking about the top eight Gilbert neighborhoods. We have Agritopia, we have Morrison Ranch, Seville, Power Ranch, Val Vista Lakes, Higley Groves, Santan Ranch and Gilbert Commons to round out the top eight. They're all somewhat in the same area, right around the 202, just below the 60, and a lot of things that they have in common, and there's also some things that are not in common between all those different communities. Let's jump over to the map right now and give you a little bit more of a visual on where all these communities are located and how close they are to each other in the proximity to downtown Phoenix and the airport and that sort of thing. with Phoenix and the highway system, right around Gilbert in these communities, you'll see two major highways, the 60 and the 202. So let's look at that map just a little bit in closer detail. Right below the 60, you have Morrison Ranch and you have Higley Groves, and then you also have Val Vista Lakes. And then as you, as you go just below the 202, in the nestled in that little nook there, you have the great neighborhood of Agritopia. And then you also have Santan Ranch, just a little to the east of there. And then just below that, we have the Power Ranch area. And then you go south a little bit more on the south border of Gilbert and you have the Seville neighborhood. I tried to break down each of the neighborhoods into a couple categories too, just to give a better understanding on the neighborhood, the age, that sort of thing. So I had a couple categories, age of the home, the square feet average, the number of bedrooms, and just the overall style of the homes. And as I looked, it to, as I put it into a little bit of a chart and a graph, they're very similar. I would say as a general guideline, late or early to late late 1990s to to as early as today on some of them, where there's a couple of new construction still happening in a few of the neighborhoods. Not a lot. It's just a very tail end. But for the most part, 20 to 30 year old homes. And they're usually on the larger side. The 1,500 square feet would probably be on the low side with some exceptions, all the way up to 3,500, 4,000 plus. Three to five bedrooms is a general ballpark, but sometimes three to six bedrooms and sometimes beyond. It just really depends on the neighborhood as you get the larger lots and some of those little outliers that are, have a lot of extra square feet and seven bedrooms. But that's a minority. That's not the the, the norm. But for the more the normal uh, average, you'll see three to five bedrooms, maybe around the you know 2,500 square feet. We're going to start our little mini tour around the Gilbert neighborhoods with Seville on the lower part. This just gives you an idea of what the homes look like. Triple garage, as example. A lot of trees, bushes, small palm trees, big palm trees, and then you have an overview of the tennis courts, the, the sand or the Seville golf course area. Very calm day as I got a little bit of a, a view of the overview of the neighborhood. A little bit more of Seville here before we jump into Power Ranch. This is Power Ranch here already. You can see example of nice bushes hedges, a lot of rock again in front of the homes. 
parks. There's a lot of parks, very family oriented, as one of the huge benefits of Gilbert. Very safe as I was driving around, didn't see really anything that I'd be concerned about. Now we're in Santan Ranch, again, another example. Driving through it, there's a huge house right here. Four car garage, a lot of cacti, bushes. Very well maintained and landscaped, a lot of the neighborhoods. And then you'll run into just a random farm, cows or horses. So it's still very far out in some to the downtown area, but it's also close enough. This is Joe's Farm Grill in Agrotopia. We made it up to Agrotopia neighborhood. It's very nestled right below the 202. And look at these homes, the two stories, the porches, trees, and then you have elevators, green elevators, just randomly. This is in Morrison Ranch. So an overview of Morrison Ranch, a field off to the right, and then you've got the homes. And they have the nice trees as you come into the neighborhood, go out of the neighborhood. It feels very Midwest to me. A lot of trees. And you can see a lot of new construction in this neighborhood of Morrison Ranch. A lot of, a lot of people around doing some work in the front of these homes. You can see they're really looking pretty new. There's a new house, a newer house on the market coming up here too. And I'll post some pictures. That house is four bad or four bedrooms plus, which would be like a five, three and a half bath, 3,500 square feet. I'll show you the pictures though, like I said. It was built in 2022, no pool, triple garage, on the market for 1.6 million. So, on the high side, definitely. And then we'll move into Higley Groves area, which is this neighborhood. A lot of trees again, you can see the shade, which is very nice when it's super hot outside in the summer. That really helps cool things down a little bit, protect from that really um, intense sun. Then we'll move into Gilbert Commons, coming up here, which is some really large homes, right? There's the little entrance into the neighborhood. Here's an example of the hedges, again, the, the lawn, which isn't real here, but a lot, sometimes you'll see some, some real grass. The circular driveways, some really large homes in this area. This is Gilbert Common. Ending with Val Vista Lakes, and you don't see a lot of water in the desert, so that's a big draw for this neighborhood. So we'll just get a, a little overview of Bell Vista Lakes. Hopefully it gave you a little bit more of a feel on the top Gilbert neighborhoods and what you can expect. What does it look like when you drive through the neighborhoods? Is it trees, no trees? Is it two stories, one story? Double garage, single garage, triple garage? How many bedrooms? Are there parks nearby? All those sort of questions that might have been kind of going through your head. Hopefully I answered some of those questions and if not, please, please reach out and let me know what kind of questions you have. Again, my information is listed below here. Email, phone, text, Pony Express, all the stuff. Just make sure you get a hold of me and I'd love to help you on your journey to making Phoenix your next home. We'll see you in the next video.